Well, what do we have here? Uh, this is probably my own or something. I haven't seen you much in this place, buddy. So you want to start playing Shogi? Oh, Shogi. I don't want to play Shogi. Because I don't understand. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. But uh, thanks anyway. It seems so far there's a lot less random encounters with bad guys. But I, I don't know. Hello? Hey, you're not from Okinawa, are you? Yeah, I'm from Tokyo. <laughs> I knew it! I've never seen anyone from Okinawa wear expensive leather shoes with pointy toes like that. Can you really ter tell where I'm from just by my shoes? Never mind that. Anyway, I've always wanted to visit Tokyo. Maybe you could tell me about it? I'll get you something to make up for it. Okay. Uh, sure, I guess I could spare a few minutes. <gasps> Yay! There's a bar I like... R oh. Okay. I'm Kaede Ania. You can just call me Kaede. I'm Kiryu. I used to live in Kamarucho, if you've uh, heard of it. It's one of those seedier parts of Tokyo. <laughs> no, definitely don't know it. I'm so jealous though. The closest I've ever gotten was a field trip to Kyoto. Aww. And I mean, there's so much to love about Tokyo, right? All we've got here in Okinawa is fish and salt air. I don't know, I think Okinawa, Okinawa has its charms. But it's nothing compared to Tokyo. Ah, oh, jeez, I sure wish I could live up there. But I guess just hearing about it is a good start for now. Sure. What did you want to know? Well, if I'm gonna move up there, I would have to find a place to live, right? How much is rent? Uh, I don't know. Probably the expensive one. Hmm, a studio goes for around 100,000 yen. Rapongi would run you about 300,000 yen a month. 300,000? Are we talking a luxury condo here? Or some sort of castle? <laughs> no castles, but that'd be about right for a luxury condo. Rapongis are... Uh, Rapongis where the rich folks live. Wow, people in Tokyo must be even wealthier than I realized. Or, you know... yeah. Well. <laughs> anyway, next question. If I do end up living in Tokyo, should I bring my car with me? Everyone's always driving around in the city and TV and stuff. I'd never be able to shop without a car anyway, plus how would I even get around? I drove into town today, after all. Ditch the cars and take the train. Ditch the car. Trains will take you everywhere you need to go. Oh, I'm gonna do all my shopping like that, though. Am I supposed to spend half of my time on a train, just go uh, buy some fish? There's more than just trains, by the way. We also have a subway, taxis, buses, anything you could need. Besides, there are stores everywhere, so half the time you won't even need to get on a train at all. I mean, I guess, but it's hard to imagine life without a car. Yeah, well. Oh, here's our friend. Oh, there you are, Kaido. I knew I'd find you here. Oh, we're Momiji-san. Chan. <laughs> you sure do know me well. It's not hard to guess, when you always go to the same bar. Oh. Who's this? This is giryu -san. He's from Tokyo. You're still thinking about moving? I'm sorry about my friend here. She's so starstruck so star by the big city. You keep trying to tell her that she won't last a minute up in Tokyo, but she refuses to listen. That's not true, I can do it if I try. Please, giryu -san. You know Tokyo best. Tell her why it would be such a bad idea. Um... If you want to go, then go, and then you'll find out uh, eventually if it's something for you or not, right? If you want to go, then go. You have to see for yourself whether you can make it or not. That's what I meant. <laughs> kiryu I knew you understand. I can understand why you're worried about her. But if you stop her from trying, she'll just end up resenting you guys. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I'll manage, don't worry. And if I need help, I'll just give kiryu a call. Uh, what? Is that okay? Well, I did tell you to go. <laughs> Here's my number. Give me a ring if you ever need a hand. Wow, thanks. It's not much, but take this. A Soki burger set. Well, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go now. Take care. I'll take care. Okay, that's better. Sounds like she'll end up in Tokyo before too long. And 2000 XP. And we can play billiards here. Let's have a look see. Here we, here we go. 
Oh boy. <laughs> ah, no. Not quite. We're not starting. I... What? What's the point of this? Oh, do I have to... I thought I had to be as close to the... You the back bank, but I guess I have to be as close to... Uh, to this bank. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's just a tutorial. I was gonna say, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let me play! Alright. Here we go. I didn't do anything. I, I opened up the field, though. Let's see. Ooh, a trick shot, are we? Real trickster. I don't think that's quite the uh, intention you have there. Do we have to hit the one first? I think so. Um, let's see. <laughs> I kind of like this. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh! It could have been something. Alright. Can you make anything of this? You're going for that one? Okay. Not quite, huh? Now can I... Can I do anything? I wonder if this is gonna work. Oh, it kinda does. does. Oh, I got the 9 already. Does that count? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I win? I don't know how 9 ball works then, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Alright, time to play darts. Let's see if I still got it. Okay. So I'm throwing higher than I aim. That's bad. How is my opponent doing? Not as well as I am. <laughs> oh, he... Single bull is... Bullseye points? What the hell? Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my god, that was bad. Triple 12. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. He keeps throwing bullseyes! And they're not even bullseyes, but they count as bullseyes. What the hell? Oh, what's that? No, it wasn't. Damn it. Damn it. He's, he can go out if he wants, but I think he's gonna. Uh, let's see. Okay. We have a finish. I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to. That's a, a triple one. Not really where I was aiming, but oh well. Damn it! Why is it why is aiming so hard? Whoa, dudes! Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. Ah, this guy! Final round? Oh no. Okay. Forty-four, that's unfortunate. Uh, 44. I cannot end this. <laughs> He's gonna win. I should have thrown something better. He's, he's gonna win. Ah, oh well. Can I have a drink here? Oh, lots of whiskey. So I'll have a cheap whiskey. Yes. Look at that. That is standard of the Bowmore line. Cherry barrels give it its uniquely ripe floral overtones. 
Seaweed, unique to Islay, give it a distinctive flavor and saltiness. These qualities have earned it the title of Queen of the Islay. Islay? I don't know. <laughs> it stands a cut above the rest of the single malt 12 year olds. Mmm, lovely. Nah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Great of alcohol, buddy. You coming back from a party, huh? Look, I've been having a real bad day. Just stand still for a second. Yo, buddy. I may have had one whiskey, but that doesn't mean I can't fight anymore. Hopefully. Oh, he's got, he's got friends as well. He's got a lot of friends? Friend with a sword? I don't trust that. Take this. Keep going. Nice. What do you want? Take this. Oh yeah. Gah. How about another round? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I did find another question mark on the map. It might be here. Stop, uh, <laughs> Stop giving me the run around, man. You're in the wrong here for owing all this money and now you're gonna pay. Please, not my Awamori. It's the only thing keeping my family going. Fine, then I'll just take the land you're sitting on instead. Bring out the deed now. <laughs> what? But my ancestors established this is still regenerations ago. I can't just hand it over like that. Indeed, huh? Maybe this has something to do with that res uh, resort development deal. This far out in the city? Who knows? But uh, I'm, I'm gonna help him anyway. What's going on here? You mentioned the land. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're not talking about this place. That could be possible. Please help me. This guy's after my Aomori. Huh? I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you'd better stay out of our business. If this has uh, got something to do with the uh, resort development, then I'm afraid it's my business too. I've taken somewhat of an interest in that issue. Huh? I ain't talking about any resort. This jump owes me a fat stack of cash. I was just telling him that if he can't pay up, he can make good on his debt by giving me the deed to his land. Hmm, so that's what this is about. Uh -huh. Ugh, this is going nowhere. I'll let you off the hook today. Either pay up in full or bring me that deed, your choice. Oh, damn, I thought I uh, could punch him a bit. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much. You saved me from that brute. Not really. Sounds like you're still gonna have to pay uh, off that debt. Yeah, of course. I did borrow a lot of that money after all. But I didn't have a choice. If I hadn't taken out that loan, the distillery would have gone belly up. You run a distillery? Yeah, that's right. It's a bar nearby where we make our own local spirits. Awamori, if you've never heard of it. Oh, and my name's Matsushima. Kiryu. <sighs> Good meeting you, Kiryu-san. A few years back, I borrowed 20 mil, wow, to try and expand my business, compete with the other big distilleries in town, you know? And I take it the investment didn't pay off? Actually, it was a resounding success, but we ate our Awamori for years to create the perfect flavor. Turns out the deadline to pay back those loans came around while the, this most recent batch is still aging. When was the deadline? <sighs> it's actually not for another year still, but now they're saying if I don't pay back the full 20 million in a week, I'm gonna have to hand over the distillery. That's absurd. Don't you have a contract? <laughs> About that, I looked over the fine print and it did say the lender has the right to demand repayment before the deadline. That's how they get you. Still, only a week? They must be really in a hurry. If only I had another year, I could pay it back for sure. What do you mean? Oh, that's when the Awamori will be ready for market. I'll be able to pay off my debt, no questions asked. I tried to explain that to the loan shark, but he kept insisting I pay him right now. Maybe I could find. Uh, maybe if I could find that heirloom, Grandpa told me about. Hmm. What's this about an heirloom? Oh, just something my grandfather mentioned on his deathbed. He said if I was ever in trouble, I could sell our extremely valuable family heirloom for extra cash. But I don't have the slightest idea where it is. Or if it even exists, for that matter. I've heard that story before. What? Most family heirlooms don't end up being the windfalls people expect them to be. 
Why don't you talk to the loan shark again? Try to explain your current situation? That might be better than putting all your eggs in this heirloom basket. He already knows my situation, that's why he's demanding I pay now. He just wants to steal the distillery from me. And the stock of our money we have aging. That'll net him way more than just the 20 mil I own. That must be, uh, that must have been his goal from the beginning then. Set up the contract and go back on it and take not just the distillery but the booze too. <laughs> ah, the family heirloom's my only hope. Apparently it's buried somewhere on the beach <laughs> near some orphanage. <laughs> Evening pride I think it's called, something like that. Wait, you mean morning glory? Oh yeah, that's the one. You know it? I run it! Never guessed there'd be a uh, buried treasure nearby though. What luck! Fate must have brought us together. Please, would you consider helping me find this precious heirloom? Yeah, sure. Awamori is an essential part of Oki uh, Okinawan culture, so I won't just stand by while you get threatened. Let's find that heirloom. Thank you so much. I can't believe you're really so willing to help a stranger like me. You're too kind. I know. So do you have any other clues? I do, actually. Our family has a special song. That tells us where the hell was hidden. The sound of crushing waves upon the sand so hot. A golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. Hmm, it must mean it's near the ocean. That makes sense. That would be the beach in front of Morning Glory. Yeah, that's definitely the place my grandpa mentioned to me. The problem is the second line. A golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. I think golden and turtle must be big hints, but I've got no clue as to what it means. Me neither. For now, I guess let's take a look near Morning Glory. Yeah, let's do that. Why? I need to check on some of the Amori in the distillery. And make sure it's all aging properly. When you're in the middle of this situation, you sure you sure are passionate passionate about your work. I may not take the best business decisions, but I'm damn good at making fine alcohol. In that case, stay here and keep an eye on, on your stock. I'll go look for the treasure on my own. Thanks for being so understanding. You see my number? Okay. Cool. Huh? I can tell you're not just some guy of the street. You got some real fire in your eyes. You're a real player, aren't you? Well, I got the great place I'd like to show you. Follow me if you're interested. <laughs> okay. Let's go. You won't regret this. Follow me. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Oh, it's, this is the my own place. Is it my own? I don't know. Uh. It's a gambling hall, the perfect place to cut loose and have some fun. Cool. Uh, Silo. Ochikabu Koi Koi. Okay, I might come back here. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know any of these games. I wonder if we can do another round of our club here. Seems everybody's into cute today. I, I don't have a hang of the ha layout of this. Oh, this is the toilets. So that's the entrance, uh, that's the backstage. Where's the entrance then? Is this the entrance? Oh yeah, that makes sense. And uh, let's go. Cute, we're going for cute today. And we can train apparently. Hmm. Do we start at top? Let's work on your presentation. Makeup, hair, posture, all of these things send certain signals to a man. Hmm. Tell me more. Well, signals, etc. And this is no mini game. It's just uh... okay. It's just training, but she does have more stress now. So these earrings, for example, will probably <laughs> probably make her more cute. Cute nails will probably make her more cute. I don't know if I have money for a ring this expensive. No. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Look at her go. Now we're we're less everything now. That sucks. Oh, she does have a customer, luckily. A flash is perfect too. Um, but most of them want cute. Your mama seems to be keeping herself occupied. 
so that's good, I guess. So now she has quite a bit of stress, so if I give her some free time... This should uh, reduce her stress. <laughs> Just check my phone. Let's see. Let's do this. Look at all that stress. Well, they still want flashy, but also refined. But your mama seems to be doing fine. She still has some stress. I don't know how high I want to take her stress. But maybe we should do some other training. Today, So today we're going to study a little trivia. No matter what the conversation, it's always important to be smart about what you say. Oh, uh, yeah. Teach me your ways. Okay. It's not a mini game. It's just uh, a cutscene. Oh, a small one at that. Hmm. I'm not quite sure you got the picture. Yeah, there was a lot to chew on. Oh, poor girl. That's gonna be a lot of stress. I'm assuming this is gonna be kind of slow. Right, they want refined. Need refined. But this is the last. Isn't this the last thing? How's Joe Mama doing? Pretty well, I think. Classy, refined. But it doesn't matter anymore for now, right? I don't know. Yeah, it, it seems to be a little more slow going in the beginning, and maybe once we have a few girls, it'll be more interesting. I don't know, we'll see. Great hustle out there, curious one. Come help us out again sometime. Let's see, how did we do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we're still losing money, but oh well. Let's meet at Turtle Rock after school tomorrow. I'm back home and these kids are talking <laughs> about Turtle Rock. Okay, what are we gonna play? What did they mean by Turtle Rock? Turtle Rock, huh? That's part of a riddle from that uh, man's heirloom. Oh, Akasaka-san. Good to see you again, Kiryu-san. I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? I didn't expect you to be uh, here right away. <laughs> <laughs> Once an idea crosses my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Teach you in the house, young guest. Hey, you forgot to say hello to our guest. And um, take your shoes off before you go inside. Hi, Uncle guest. We're home. You two have a good day at school. Mm-hmm. Oh, a guest. Konnichiwa. Hi, mister. Konnichiwa. Hi. Haha, <laughs> hello there, kids. Come on, Izumi-chan. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such energetic kids. And there he Oh my god. He got beat up good. <laughs> Wow, what a spirit. <laughs> yeah. あれ、お客さんえ、挨拶しろ。初めまして、シロです。ほう。ちゃんと挨拶もしっかりできて気持ちのいい子だ。おい。あんたが桐生だな。よ。この子供にあんたどういう教育してるんだ。見ろ。喧嘩だよ、あざだろ。どうしてくれるんだ。ああ、橋本さん。お久しぶりですね。うん、interesting。え。ああ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Hey, what about Shiro? He thinks he's better than all of us regular kids because he doesn't have parents. <laughs> Excuse me? Don't speak to him like that, young man. He didn't choose to be an orphan. None of these kids did. If you were really his friend, you would help him solve his problem, not make them worse. <laughs> ah, whatever, you old fart. <sighs> well, I'd never. I feel sorry for that boy's parents. Though I'm sure being his teacher is hard enough, Hashimoto-sensei. <laughs> well, I should be going. I must say, Kiryu-san, it warms my heart to see how happy and healthy your children are. You have the full support of the city, I assure you. Look at that. Hi, Uncle Kaz! Hey, Haruka. How was cool? Yeah. Good. Are the others back already? Yeah, they got home a while ago. Shiro too? I hope he's okay. Don't worry, Haruka. Shiro's gonna be just fine. Really? That's a relief. I was so worried when I heard he was getting bullied. But I'm glad everything is gonna be okay. Me too. Well, I better go get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. <laughs> okay. Good job. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, dig at the turtle rock and the, f the the foam, the golden foam. Hmm. I guess it does look like a turtle. Does it? But I give Matsushima a call. Hey, buddy. I found a turtle. Mushi mushi. Mushi mushi. Hello, Machimoya. It's Kiryu. I found a rock on the beach that looks like a turtle. What? Really? Yeah. It's out in front of Morning Glory. Come see for yourself. Of course. I'll be right there. House. Well, he's right here. Right away. I guess it does look like a turtle. If this is the one mentioned in the song, then this is the sacred turtle's spot. Treasure's gotta be right under this rock. Let me hand, Kiryu san. It's digging time! Here goes nothing! Whoa. Whoa. I see something! Keep digging! Okay. Can come back down now! Hmm? I think it's some sort of pot? Please, keep digging! Okay. You're mine, treasure! Whoa. What the? There it is, Kiryu-san! And Awamori pots? I see. A golden foam must have meant Awamori foam. After all, top notch Awamori produces a beautiful head of foam when you distill it. So, this big family heirloom you were after is just a bottle of liquor? I don't think this will help you pay off the debt. Don't you see, Kiryu san? This isn't any old bottle of liquor, it's an extremely old bottle of liquor. <laughs> this Awamori was distilled in the ninth year of the Meiji era. Which makes it over 130 years old. 130 years, huh? I'm not sure it's the miracle you seem to be thinking it is. But it is, it is! Right now the oldest intact Awamori in the whole world is just 140. We're nipping at their heels. You can't put a price tag on a vintage like that. So your ancestors crafted this masterpiece, then buried it to keep it safe? No wonder your family treated it like some kind of sacred treasure. And because of all its years, have been spent underground, it's extremely well preserved. I don't see any cracks either. Still, I'm not sure it's worth the 20 million I own. Huh? Ah, Matsumiya. <laughs> Matsushima. You're trying to get to skip town or something? <coughs> hey, don't tell me you followed me here. What's that you got there, huh? An Aomori pot? Well, the truth is. Yeah. You shitting me? 130 years old? He just sees that? <laughs> Assuming that the data edge on the pot's correct, yes. How about that? My boss is always going on about wanting to get his hands on a hundred-year-old vintage. Is that why you're after my distillery? <laughs> yeah, you could say that, but hey, I got a deal for you. Hand over the Awamori and we're all square on your debts. Huh? You'd walk away from 10 million just like that? The boss was gonna use that cash to buy a pot of vintage, anyway. Doing it this way cuts out the middleman. And besides, you can't exactly buy 
30 years old uh, album money on the market. No matter how much cash you, cash you got. <laughs> so the way I look at it, this is a pretty sweet deal. Hmm. Your boss must really love this stuff. Oh. You bad. That's the only reason I know all this shit. You know, Matsushima-san, I know it might be uh, not mean much coming from me, but you really do make the best of Amori. You really think so? Oh yeah. From now on, I want you to stop borrowing from shady fellows like me. <laughs> Get yourself a solid business plan and leave all this debt nonsense behind you here. Uh, I will. In the meantime, get the baby over to our office. We'll settle your debt right here and there. There and here. Then. <laughs> I can't believe it. I saved my distillery. It's all thanks to you, Kiryu-san. Thank you so much. You should be thanking the an ancestors who uh, buried that pot. Here, take this. It's a special little something I found collecting dust in our family stores. You'll make way better use of it than I ever would. I didn't really do that much, but okay. A Shisa balance. Well, I got to deliver this. Bye. And 2000 XP. Which probably means I can level up. Still don't quite know how it works. So I have 13 points, so I could level up this and two of these. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Beautiful. 